Let's just get, you know, things clearly right now. Things straight. Right now. All this time, in all this chapter, when it's all the flashback and everything, when Jack and his goons, or much more, or should I say perfectly, Kaido's goons are right there, you know, Zo searching for this samurai, Rezo, and, you know, they're both, all of them means attack them, you know, or should I say, trying to prevent, you know, like, not to hurt anyone because they don't know who the fuck Rezo is, and of course, you know, in that case, you know, Rashi and Nikomamushi, you know, were tortured, yeah, Nikomamushi lost his arm, you know, Rashi lost his leg, you know, and both of them are deeply damaged, including, like, all the guardians and all the other means, they're all damaged, tortured, brutally damaged, Defeated with a gas explosion, with the gifters, pleasures, Jack, and everyone. And they're all been saying, all this time was saying, Razor is not here. But now, in this motherfucking chapter, we find. I couldn't believe. I mean, I couldn't believe my eyes. <laughs> I literally, I couldn't believe my eyes. When Kingdom out of nowhere just came there. Stop the fight between uh, Nikomamushi and Urashi. Saying like, you know, I'm, he's a member of the Kogatsu clan, who is a member of the Wano Kingdom, or Wano Country, whatever. You know, and saying like, you know, we're here for searching for like, uh, Reizo the Samurai, you know, we knew, we know he's been, you know, he's been here on Zoro and everyone, and all the strides, and like, <gasps> oh no, we're fucked up, you know, we're totally screwed, you know, we're screwed. We're definitely screwed, you know, they're going to kill us. They're gonna accuse, they're gonna, they're gonna do horrible things to us, you know, in the short terms. I mean, you know how, you know, as it is, you know, when it comes to danger. Being a totally cowardly, you know, number one of all cowards. And you know, saying, say, like, you know, we are screwed and everything. And out of nowhere, you know, like, when you see in Narashi and Nikomamushi's face, you know, uh, you think, like, you know, there's gonna be, they're gonna be pissed, you know, are trying to attack them and everything. Even if they start to try to explain, like, no, they, they, they don't, like, they don't carry all this, like, damage. What the razor gives it, you know, br uh, brought to them and everything, like, you know, they're, it's not their fault. And then, at the right time, you have Inorashi and Nikomamushi, they end up this, their own clash. Just sit down and say, Razor Dona is safe. With this simple quote, I repeat again, or should I say, I quote again, Razor Dono is safe. With this you have the explanation that all this time, when they were under attack, when they were damaged, destruction, everything, they were lying. Razor was literally really on Zo all this fucking time. And they were lying. Even if Jack at the beginning never believed, you know, and even after all this shit, what they would have done to them, he left the island because of the flamingo and everything. Even if he didn't believe it, I mean, that. In the way how the Minx played, you know, being innocent, you know, like just telling you we don't know who the hell raises me, well done. I mean, well done. Especially, you know, at the end when, like, Nikomamushi said, like, you know, even if, you know, uh, like, we and, like, the Koga, uh, Kogetsu clan from the One of Kingdom, you know, has been a, a, as a family, you know, for longer, you know, the, than I care to say. I mean, I like, quote what Nikomamushi said. And, of course, even, he even said, you know, even if, it, even if it meant our kingdom's demise... We never read out one of our friends to the enemy. And with that, and with the simple quotes of Niko Mamushi, surprising quotes, which I think, you know, they're fair enough epic, in the way how Niko Mamushi describe it, you see the expression of, you know, you see the expression of Luffy at the end, you know, just saying like, okay, that's cool, you know, okay, fine, you know, like, you know, I, I've, I, I'm gonna start to like this movie track. You know, I'm starting to gonna like them and everything. You know, like, and it was the end of the chapter. I mean, overall, you know, the entire chapter. I mean, I always I'm just, I'm just talking too much about the about the finale, but the entire chapter, like I said, the entire chapter was overall very, you know, very, very simple because it all started you know, like you know, Frankie and the others you know wake up you know find you know find out that uh, Kanjuro Kanjuro and you know like. They already, you know, uh, climbed to the to Zoe. They are right, you know, headed to the center of the, on the island, you know, and like uh, Frankie and the others, you know, were panicking, you know. We have to find, you know, or the Zoe, and they find out that those two samurais, you know, are there. You know, they're gonna 
beat the crap out of you because they felt like they're gonna be screwed and everything. Also, in this chapter, we have the confirmation, like I said, like I predicted, you know, already at the beginning. The monkey who was with them and who was like, uh, like ringing the bell, which Kanjuro Kinemon felt like it was a welcoming bell, uh, his name is Barriot. Just like, you know, Karen mentioned it in the beginning, you know, even if a lot of people thought like Barriot is some kind of other mink, in this chapter we had the confirmation, just like I thought, the monkey's name is Barriot. Which practically is fair enough, you know. And after, you know, like, in the, of course, you know, after all that, you know, like, even the others, you know, the strawheads, you know, were just running around, so like, tried to find, you know, Kanjuro and the others, you know, like, tried to stop them to be in contact with the minks and everything, you know. Even if, you know, at the beginning, like, you know, in you know, Rashi and Nikomamushi, you know, they felt like, you know, uh-huh, like, uh-huh, we have, we have new enemies, you know, like, all right, everyone who can, who can move, come on, come with me. That's what Inora Inorashi said. And when Nikomamushi came, you know, like, just on the same scene, like, in Inorashi, you know, and say, like, you know, and Pedro, like, you see, and what, that's also, what, um, for me, this chapter, the funniest part of all, you know, where, like, Pedro is on the top of the building, Pedro is on the top of the building, and, like, Nikomamushi is asking, you know, like, Pedro, do you see anything? And of course, like, you know, and Pedro, of course, you know, what he tried to explain is that the, also in Arashi is on the same territory, so we have to, you know, like, back off. But, you know, right, but in the way how much high he was, like, you know, you know, Nikomamushi said, just saying, you know, like, damn, damn, you know, I really wish I could hear him. <laughs> now, that was particularly funny, you know, like, you know, because, like, he all, every single time, you know, when you see Pedro, he's always somewhere on top of, you know, a tree or a building, I mean, whatever. I mean, you get the point, I mean, like, I mean, after all, because I mean, the fair, fair enough is you know what uh, you know race uh, as a Ming tribe you know Pedro is, fair enough you know there you have the explanation why he's on top of the buildings or trees whatever you know, because after all, that's what Pedro's kind do, in real life or should I say in real animal life. Okay, so there was you know actually the entire chapter. Of course you know there of course you know when you go to the mill, finally you know, like Monosuke. I really know I really want to know what know how the hell. You know, he went up, you know, out of that pineapple house or whatever the fuck he was, you know, whatever. He came out, you know, finally, you know, he's reunited with Kanjuro and, you know, and Kinemon. And I say, oh, well, we're we happy to see him, you know, everything, you know. And, of course, you know, like, they're still headed to, like, you know, like I said, to the, the center of Zoe Island, you know. And, of course, like, you know, and everyone was panicking, tried to find him, you know, tried to hide him from, like they did, you know, in this chapter. And the one thing also I'd like to mention was... I really find that kind of, you know, uh, really interesting and epic, you know, is, you know, uh, not only, ch also, in, like I said, in this chapter, we find out a little bit, uh, we have a little bit more of the flashback, you know, when, you know, Rashi and Nikomamushi were tortured, you know, like, you know, still saying, like, you know, we don't know who the fuck Razor is, you know, and even, and Nikomamushi even added, that even if he's here, I will kill him, you know, I will break his bones, or rip him, rip him apart and everything, you know, even if Jack told me, like, you know, okay, if you if you want to if you want if you want to lie to me again, I will cut off your leg. And of course, the same thing goes to with Nikon Mushi. If you lie to me, I'm gonna cut off your right your right arm. So I mean, you have to choose. You have to just to fucking choose. And of course, and of course, you know, at the end, like they're still saying we don't know who the fuck Razor is. And of course, you know, they, you know what they're saying. You know. And then of course, you know, the other thing I really wish to discuss you know, is between Nikon Mushi and. In Arashi, because you know, like when they, when those two, like Pedro said, we had to back off. But of course, you know, fortunately, they saw each other, and like everybody, every, every, every single mink explained the straw hats. You know, like they hate each other. You know, just like you normally, know, just like in normal animal nature, cats and dogs. That's why it's called. That's why the chapter is called Cat and Dog or Cats and Dogs, whatever. You know, like even if you remind me a lot of uh, the, the Disney movie, Cats and Dogs, <laughs> whatever. You know. Uh, so I mean, we have. I mean, uh, they're. I mean, in the way how they stare at each other, you know, when they saw each other, I mean, when the way how they stare at each other, you know, with anger, you know, like they're saying all the dirt, you know, all like nasty things to each other, you know, like saying like, oh, you know, it's a real, like, for example, like, Nico Mabush said, oh, it's a real shame, like, you, you only lost, you know, one night, because, because when Inarashi came to near to Nico Mabush, like, he also, like, not only that his, uh, his left leg was missing, but also, you know, he had a crutch, you know, so he can help him to, you know, like, you know, to walk, you know. So all this time, you know, like I said, before the great finale, you know, of the relation, everything, you know, like, so, I mean, uh, the, I mean, they're staring, you know, they're arguing, the fight, you know, they had, I mean, it was really kind of, you know, it was really cool. It was really, really cool, you know, really cool, you know, and the one thing I was wondering, you know, like, when they both them clash, the way how they are, their aura was spreading, you know, like, you know, when they're, when they clash with their weapons, 
I was wondering if but if those two you know have conquerors hockey. I'm really wondering if they have how show hockey or conquerors hockey, whatever. You know, because everybody knows that, uh, that everyone who has conquerors hockey, you know, is destined to be a king. And I know that both of them are king are kings, you know, of those. So I mean it could be somehow I mean also, you know, they're older, you know, experience, like uh, old timers, you know, experience and everything. So it could be I mean, it could have sense they have conquer Saki. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm just saying. I'm saying, you know. And after, like I said, all this clash, you know, like, there you have, like, Kinemon just came in there, you know, even if Strong is the other, you know, just, you know, just taking them to the ground. I was saying, you know, hide, hide yourself before you do want to kill something, you know. You know, I mean, I don't know. I mean, after this relation at the end, I mean, I really don't know what to say. Also, you know, like I said, we also, like, like I repeated, you know, at the beginning, we have the name of the clan. That Kinemon belongs, and that is Kogetsu clan. I mean, I, I mean, I just wonder if Kanjiro also belongs to that clan. I, mean, I don't know, but this, but so in this chapter, like I said, we have a lot, a lot more, a lot more interesting revelations, you know, and everything, including, like I said, this finale that that's, that they were lying all, all this time about the razor, you know. Even if you know, at the end, like you know, at the beginning, Stormers were shocked when they saw that, when they heard what they said, but the end, when after they explained them. You know, do you see like all the story that's crying, you know, being happy, like, you know, so heroic, you know, like protecting the, you know, like true friendship, like protecting, like, you know, the other, you know, the other friend, you know, like even if it means torture or death. And I mean, that's really quite honorable because after all, you know, everyone said that's what friends are for. So in all of the end, I mean, that was the entire chapter because like I said, overall, this chapter was overall very, very, very simple. So like I said, I mean, in all, I mean, the rest of the chapter from the, from the beginning to the end was simple. Only the finale was a lot, a lot more special, I mean, with the revelation and everything. So, I think, yeah, I mean, I would give him a, a normal, like, cool plus because, like, it was, like I said, it was a very, very simple chapter. But overall, like I said, at the end, the revelation was, I mean, really good. Really, really good. I like it a lot. So, I mean, yeah, here I am done. The only thing I was wondering, you know, in this chapter was. Like I said, who uh, are two things? Like, who is Kogetsu clan? I mean, I really want to know, you know, the next chapter or a few chapters, you know, next. I really want to know a lot, a lot more about this Kogetsu clan, you know, about the Vano country, you know. And also the one question I'm really curious is if Nikuma Mushi and Arashi have Conqueror's Haki. Because, like I said, if you watch a little bit closer about their, uh, about their clash, you can see that, I mean, the aura that was spraying and everything, it looks like Congress. Like, I mean, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I and mean, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. So here I am done. Read the video, comment, subscribe. Give me first example what you personally think about this chapter. I mean, overall, it was simple. Uh, give me your personal opinions. What do you think about, you know, the finale? Do you really think it's gonna, we're going to see, like, Razor in this, you know, in Zoark? Or do you think it's somewhere else? Drop like or appreciate that, you know. And, of course, you know, if you don't like my video, then you can... Really kiss my ass because that's the way how I do. That's the way how I roll. So peace to everyone. Have an awesome rest of the day. Low shows like always signing off. And since I am two weeks late about this chapter and all the other videos, I could not say like the that One Piece will be the next week on break because uh, literally in general this is the week that One Piece on break. So I mean, forget. Okay, you know what I meant. So see ya.